All right, um, so usually my job is to show people how to like code and use the Maps API and stuff like that, but today I'm going to try and show you um, how you can create community contributed maps with um, ranging from the least amount of code possible to more sophisticated solutions. All right, so we're going to start with the one that requires no coding at all. Uh, so how many of you guys have used the My Maps tab in Google Maps? Okay, so there's two things you can do here. You can load other people's maps and load other people's maplets, and you can also create a new map. Um, so when you create a new map, that gives you like editing tools, right? So it lets you like draw markers, draw polygons, blah blah blah. And then the cool thing is, is that you can also collaborate on your map, right? So if you see here, we have this collaborate. It's kind of hard to read, um, but if we click on collaborate, I can actually go and invite people as collaborators. Um, does anyone want to edit it with me right now? <laughs> um, so I'll invite, actually I'll just invite myself in the other window. And so then you can add, you can even actually make maps that are available for everyone in the world to edit. But if you do that, you need to really, really trust the world. And if you've ever seen YouTube comments, I don't recommend that at all. <laughs> Alright, let me go into my other account. Um, so I actually used this when I was planning my spring break trip to Costa Rica um, because we wanted to see like where everyone, like me and my friends, where each of us wanted to go in Costa Rica, how they lined up in Costa Rica, um, and then we planned from there. So here we have my My Maps tab. Let's see, did I get invited yet? Not quite. All right. I probably had to accept the actual invitation in Gmail. Um, so when you're actually collaborating, you actually, actually you'll see them editing real time as well. Um, so this is definitely a collaborative environment, just like Google Docs, Google Spreadsheets, right? I'll show you my Costa Rica trip. And this one I shared with about four different people. Yeah, so I see it says four collaborators, and we all added various points of interest. Um, that route actually on there shows the final route that we took. So you see we did pretty well at hitting up the various points that we wanted to. Now the cool thing is that um, once I've got a collaborative map here, I can actually just click on the link to this page and it'll give me an iframe that I can insert in a page. Um, so let's go to a page. All right. So we'll try not to accidentally post on the Maps API blog. <laughs> oh, that'd be so much better. <laughs> <laughs> test, post, test, test. <clears throat> All right. We'll just uh, use their little preview editor here. All right. So I'll paste it in there. And then should be presto. All right, cool. So now actually I have this map in here. And so you can imagine if people were collaborating real time on this, um, you would see this updated when you reloaded the, the blog post or the page. Um, so this, the My Maps thing has been used by mainly a lot of people in disasters. So the San Diego fires was the first one where it was used and uh, they basically used it to actually show polygons of all the fires. They used it to show where the evacuation centers were. Um, it was recently used by Chicago because they had a wave of shootings and so um, Chicago, a news agency wanted to quickly show people where the shootings were so that they could avoid those areas and not get shot. Um, it was used in the China snowstorms, I believe that was their disaster, and then, yeah, so we've had a lot of natural disasters this year, and, and thus, my maps has been doing pretty well. Um, so yeah, the other thing you can do is, if you do feel like um, delving into the, the API slightly, there's a, a one-line function call that you can use to overlay um, one of these my maps on the map, um, because they do output KML, and we can do that in the Maps API. So here's an example. Maybe maybe I want to aggregate a bunch of these maps, so like all the current natural disasters or whatnot. Um, so I'm going to go back to Google Maps, and I actually want to copy this View in Google Earth link because that's the KML link. Paste it into here. This is my little Maps API mashup, and presto, now I have it in here. Uh, if we look at the code for that, if you, you know you want to go hard score. Uh, all that is is doing a this. Um, so it's saying new GGOXML and adding that to the map. And there's some stuff for toggling on and off. Um, so there's an example. So you could create several maps, uh, create one, etc.